for many of us, long before this ammo shortage even began, we were stockpiling ammo. A lot of people did it. It was a very common practice. Most people that I know that own firearms stockpiled ammo. And then there's a lot of people that hoarded ammo. And as we've gone through this, we've seen extremes of both of these. So I want to take a moment and just address what is the difference between stockpiling ammo and hoarding ammo. Well, I just want to say, I, I'm just going to say it, I'm kind of an expert on hoarding. And what I mean by that is I grew up in a house of hoarders. Uh, my mom and dad, I love them to death, but they are hoarders. We had many rooms that we couldn't even walk through, uh, floor to ceiling. Sometimes the living room just simply had a path through it. Oftentimes there was nowhere to sit because there were just things everywhere. Uh, there was never, a, you know, we had a dining room, but you could never eat in the dining room because it was covered with stuff. Always. My whole life I grew up like that. And there's definitely a distinct difference between stockpiling ammo and hoarding ammo. Now I want to kind of give you an example real quick. Um, my brother, love him to death. Uh, but he's a borderline hoarder and last time I was visiting him he had a garage full of bicycles there must have been about 13 bikes all of which were about 300 to a thousand dollar bicycles guys never ridden a bike in his life um, or at least not in a really long time I haven't seen him ride a bike in about well since he was a teenager and he's in his 60s so um, but according to his wife he didn't ride any of those bikes and the difference is is when you're buying that kind of thing you're just putting it aside and it's not having any sort of practical use it becomes hoarding whereas in stockpiling um, it's stocking up it's organized it's clean um, it's gathering for comfort and practical use whereas in hoarding is gathering for uh, fear um, it's saying, you know, essentially, I, I don't want to ever have a day where I might need this thing that I'm probably never going to use. When it comes to ammo, stockpiling, you know, a lot of people have thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds, but those rounds are being used. Remember, ammo has an expiration date, uh, just like many products out there do. And this expiration date, if you're just if things are just kind of everywhere it's a mess and you're seeing things you didn't realize you had and you're having this ammo that may or may not be good anymore because it's just everywhere you're probably hoarding uh, stockpiling you have a use for it um, people that you know you're preparing for an event whether it be some sort of a world changing event or you're preparing to practice or you're preparing for a competition or to go hunting it's it's having the things you need for the things that you will be practically using now um, a lot of times people will gather ammo specifically for some sort of a life-changing event like a, a world without the rule of law now there's a point where you kind of want to recognize this fine line between stockpiling and hoarding and I believe it's the lifestyle piece if you're living a lifestyle where you're sitting on piles and piles of ammo but you're never going out and shooting any rounds, um, you're probably hoarding it. If you're sitting on a stockpile of ammo but you're actually out practicing or you got that hunt planned for the future um, or you're a competition shooter, that kind of thing, then you're, you're stockpiling and I kind of go back to the bikes. If I owned 13 bikes but a major part of my lifestyle was fitness with bikes or I was a competition rider you know I, I might have 20 bikes and that would make sense but if i'm never riding them if they're just sitting there because they make me feel comfortable having them then it becomes a hoarding issue and we have to be cautious of this fine line because hoarding usually is driven by fear and you know when i look at my family members uh, that are hoarders i can actually put it back to a date when we were um, i was too young i remember it but i it didn't really affect me um, we were moving uh, for when I was real, real young. We, I was born and raised in Kansas City, but we moved to Oregon for a very brief period of time. And um, when we moved back, um, all of our stuff came up missing. We, I think they shipped it on a train. This was the early 70s. And none of it arrived. 
Now, as a kid, I, I didn't really see the effects of that, but my older brother, my parents, they lost everything, and, it, and it's just a psychological fear. Now, I believe, I'm not a psychiatrist, but I believe that is the event that caused them to behave the way that they behave with hoarding. Now, I could be wrong, but it's typically hoarders have something in their past and it, it really comes down to the, the practical use because again, if, if you're stockpiling ammo but you have a practical use for it, uh, then it's stockpiling. And hoarding, you just buying it because you're scared or you're buying it because you're fearing that there might be a day where you need it and you won't have it. Um, it it's a big, it, the, the fine line is the practical use in my opinion. Now, I want to address one other type of hoarding, there, especially with ammo, is there's a hoarding to price gouge. There were several people, you know, I'm not, I believe in capitalism, don't get me wrong, but there was a point where people were stockpiling f f or hoarding specifically for the effort to price gouge and take advantage of those who weren't able, you know, and you kind of see that oftentimes, you know, if you go to a uh, like a Bass Pro right when they open, somebody's just stuffing their cart full of everything they have. Uh, that's hoarding. Um, there's a big difference between these two things. And, and again, I think it's really the psychological and the practical use of what it is you are stockpiling for. In my opinion, is the big difference between hoarding and stockpiling, um, again, it's a lifestyle. It's a prior, you know, it's a practical use. Um, if you're out shooting all the time, well, it makes sense for you to have tens of thousands of rounds. If you're just sitting there and it's collecting dust and it's probably going to go bad in a few years because you're not taking care of it, it becomes hoarding. So, hope this video helps. Um, you know, a lot of people that have a lot of ammo are not hoarding. A lot of people that have a lot of ammo are hoarding. Um, it really comes down to how are you using that ammo. So hope this video helps. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel with Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. I never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guts. And as always, love God, love your family, love guts. Thank you.